the Crabbies handicap chase is next up then. This is a two mile four and a half furlong class two, 0 to 140. At the top, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Leon, the Ringer, David Robertson, Dimwick, Craig Beckwith, Shooting Star, Graham Clitterbuck, Verglas, Alex Cherry, Day to Day, Martin Leon, Northern Life, Kevin Minahan, Carbon Neutral, Graham Clitterbuck, The Rock, David Hooley, Phantom Mask, Leon Van Rensburg, and Commemoration Puzzle for Stu Gray. Field of 11 then, hidden behind the houses, and away we go. And the next at Perth. And Day to Day and Sapphire and Steel are the two who've gone to the front. As they make their way towards the first of 15 fences they've got to take in this one. And we finally get to it. And all safely over it with day to day. Now settle down into the lead. Shooting stars move through into second. In Dimwit on the outside is third. Widest on the track, carbon neutral. After watch this turn around the bottom end, it's a little bit awkward. Past it to be honest. Into this ditch, and day to day is over in front. From Dimwit second, Phantom Mask third, then Verglas and Dimwit, then the Ringer, and Sapphire and Steel. After that one, as they get to the third, just they're all safely over, all jumping well at this point. Northern Life on the Rock just sharing the back marker spot at the moment, but it's day to day, and it's clearing the lead by three. Verglas on the inside now, just about showing second. With the Ringer and Dimwit and Phantom Mask also close up as they get to the fourth. Which they all jumped over nicely. Day to day. Three lengths clear of the Ringer in second. They get to this next ditch. Oh, safely over that one as well. The Sapphire is still the top weight. Who started off quite quickly has now dropped right to the back to an alongside commemoration puzzle. But day to day, the stable companion of that one is the clear leader still. Dropped that one slowly though. The field is pretty tightly gripped. Dimwit has also dropped suddenly to the back after being pretty close up as they get to the next. All safely over that one as well. With day to day in front, the ringer second, and the rest of them pretty tightly grouped. The only 10 lengths first to last at the moment, day to day the leader. Commemoration puzzle the back marker where they take the water for the only time. And they're all safely over it. Now they're going to take this turn that could cause a bit of a problem here to the likes of the rock and shooting start. But they look like they might have potentially got away with it this time, although the rock has dropped back to last on that turn field. Not quite as big as in the last race where it did cause a lot of problems. They get to the next plane one. Fence number nine, I have a stake at that one by Leon van Rindberg's Phantom Mask. And day to day, the novice continues to show the way in front. From the ringer back in second, Phantom Mask is third. Then Shooting Star and Virgil, that's Sapphire and Steel getting back into it again. Then Dimwit trying to get back in there as well. Northern Life on that one's inside. The Rock and Commemoration Puzzle, the back two. But Phantom Mask has now come to join day to day but the jockey on that one just pushing it along again to regain the initiative and regain the two length advantage they get into the next but again day to day was a bit novice at it and phantom mask is in second carbon neutrals third the ringer is fourth then comes northern life shooting stars trying to run on as well now the rocks getting it round the outside despite losing some ground on that previous turn is now getting right into it the rock but it's still day to day in front day to day is in the lead from phantom mask in second then comes Carbon Neutrals, they get over the fourth from home, and there's a four at the back, Northern Life's gone, but it's day to day in front, from Phantom Mask in second, Carbon Neutral is third, the Rock is four, then comes the Ringer and then Shooting Star, Sapphire is still trying to run wide, Verglas and Dimwit with a lot of work to do, they race to the final ditch, and day to day skimp, scampers over it, and he's a good three or four clear still of the Rock in second, then comes Phantom Mask and Shooting Star, the Ringer and Carbon Neutral, and then they're racing down towards the final two, and day to day 
away, he's still four lengths clear, but Phantom Mask is getting close to day today, went right through the second last, and surely that's his chance gone, as he's swamped by the Phantom Mask and the Rock, he's Phantom Mask and the Rock at the final fence, Phantom Mask lands in the lead, the Rock's over it in second, running on his the ringer, but it's going to be Phantom Mask who's going to take this one pretty comfortably, I think, and it's going to be Phantom Mask who's racing up towards the line, a very fast finish in the ringer, he's trying to get closer, but he's not going to get there, and it's going to be Phantom Mask that takes it, the ringer second, the Rock third, then shooting star sapphire and still on to be fifth and dimwit and day to day at the back so day to day leading over the up to the final fence went right the way through it and surely that was the end of that one's chance but phantom mask despite a couple of mistakes has taken it for leon van rensburg championship surely in the back of him there phantom Mask the winner the ringer for david robertson second the rock david hooley third shooting star graham clutterbuck fourth and sapphire and steel was fit.